it's quiet. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, but it's Friday night. It should be busier. Well, money's tight these days, love. Anyway, it's still early. A little life enough. Do you know, I'd almost forgotten what it was like to come out for a quiet drink. Yeah, I know. Do you think we should tell him? What? About Lewis? No way. Look, if a dog's snoring, let it lie. Anyway, I've had enough aggravation for one day. Thank you. I was hoping I might catch you here. Why aren't you rotting in a cell? I gave the police a full statement. And, oh, dear, Chief, I've been meaning to... Oh! <coughs> oh! Pick your jaw up, pal. <laughs> See? I told you it would liven up. That's not your camera. There you go, love. That should take the swelling down. Thank you. Very kind of you. Too flaming kind. I heard that coming, Deirdre. I behaved abominably. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, shut up. Just hearing you makes me flesh crawl. And as for you... What? They say there's no fool like an old fool, and they don't come much older, and they certainly don't come any dafter. Hey, just a minute. This has got nothing to do with my mum. Come on, Gail. I know your mother of old. Bit of honey from lover boy here. I bet they were up her stairs two at a time. How oh. dare you? You couldn't be more wrong. And let me tell you, even if it were true, better a bed than a bookie's counter. Deirdre, Deirdre, calm down, please. Are you happy now? As soon as I get home, I'm calling the police. It won't be necessary. I already turned myself in and I've been released on bail. And I repaid Peter all the money I owed him. Stole from him. And you think that wipes the slate clean? Stella. Keep that ice tray filled up, will you? I'm not done yet. I'd better be off. That might be an idea, mate. I'll be in touch with you. Uh, don't bother. She wants nothing more to do with you. 